On the medical watch, engineering a way to stop drug overdoses. Medical reporter Dina Bear has more on a wearable device that does much more than monitor a heart rate or track steps. It's an idea designed to address a human crisis, opioid abuse. A group of engineers wants to save lives by taking humans out of the equation. Inside this science building on the campus of Bradley University. So I think what we will do is probably print a version with the 3D. Electrical engineer Dr. Muhammad Imtiaz and his collaborators brainstorm at the bench. They aren't talking circuits and wires. In 2021 alone, 100,000 people died of overdoses. And what's so sad about all of this is that an antidote is available. Actually, two antidotes are available. And still people are dying. What is the problem? The problem is most opioid overdoses occur when users are alone, unable to inject naloxone or nalmaphene, antidotes that can reverse the deadly effects of drugs like heroin and fentanyl. Even if the person who has overdosed themselves, even if they have the antidote, they can administrate, administer it most of the times because they're cognitively not able to, they're unconscious. With no one on hand to inject an antidote, they wondered. So how do you actually have the needle handy and still not be embedded in the system? Their answer, a wearable device designed to stick to the skin. So on top chamber, we have the electronics. This is the brain of the whole system. The system starts with an electrical board capable of monitoring vital signs. The device has sensors that constantly tracks the saturation level. Opioids can impair respiratory function. Too much slows breathing. If a user's blood oxygen drops below 90 percent, the sign of an overdose, the inner mechanics of the device kick into action. A compressed gas is released in this chamber right here. And this large disc it's a piston, it starts to rise. The pressure energizes tiny pistons, which raise an internal disc, a pumping component, and starts the flow of life-saving serum. It takes just 1.2 seconds to deliver the first dose of antidote. Needle at this time is embedded, it stays in, and if the satura saturation hasn't improved, then the second dose is, is, uh, is fired up. At the same time, the unit, equipped with a cellular connection, sends a message to 911. Charles was talking about titanium, but I think that might be too expensive. While the inventors debate how to improve their prototype, for now it's plastic. The parts are 3D printed on site in a university lab. Eventually, they hope to ramp up production of this device they believe will cost less than $100. But are they pumping resources into a device that will ultimately enable drug use? The answer is categorically no. Why? Because this is specifically for people who are known to be locked in this vicious loop. The effects of this device are basically to save lives and specifically for people in, in clear danger of overdosing themselves. The research team believes their device is the smallest of its kind. They designed it for individuals who want to address their addiction, likely those in treatment, so someone can provide regular maintenance on the mechanics of the device. And they hope to attract the attention of tech companies who can help them take the tech from lab to full-scale production. Back to you.